Hey, Andy Joel's back for VideoCreditScore.com. Today we're going to talk about double cycle billing. You may have heard of this term. I'm going to walk you through what this means. What it means is that credit card issuers are using two cycles to calculate their interest. Let's jump in and look at a couple of examples. First example, single cycle billing. They're just looking at one month. I'm using the example of I have a thousand dollar balance here. So we're going to multiply that by our APR. I'm using the average rate for the industry, 13.38%. Multiplying that by the number of days in the cycle, 25 dividing by 365 days of the year, I'm getting a $9.16 payment for this balance. So what happens when I go to double cycle? Now I'm in an example where I've got a $2,000 balance in month one and a $1,000 balance in month two, which is the, uh, the most current month. And so they're going to take both of these uh, balances to figure out this calculation. So you can see that instead of having a thousand dollar average daily balance, I've now got the average of two thousand and one thousand. I've got fifteen hundred dollars as my average daily balance. So going through the equation, you can see my interest payment just went up a lot. It went all the way up to thirteen dollars and seventy five cents from nine dollars and sixteen cents because of using this calculation. So who does this hurt? This really hurts people who have fluctuations in their balances. If your balance is the same. Uh, every single month, then this is probably not going to hurt you that badly. But if you're somebody who fluctuates month to month, this could really hurt you. So you want to check your credit card issuer. The good news is that most of the major credit card issuers have stopped this practice. City, Chase, a lot of the big ones have really stopped using this. The even better news is that as of July 2010, this will not be a practice allowed for any credit card issuer. This is part of the new Fed mandate of changing the credit card rules. And so that's going to be great news. So say goodbye to double cycle billing in July 2010. You want to learn more about this, other topics, you know where to find me, videocreditscore.com. You can follow me on Twitter, friend me up on Facebook, and we'll see you soon. Remember, everyone's situation is different. Be sure to contact a financial advisor or a credit counseling professional before making important financial decisions. This video broadcast is for educational purposes and not a substitute for receiving personalized professional advice.